Good morning, good evening, good day or good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. Hi, how are you? So today I am burning my retinas with two flashlights and a lamp pointed directly at me. Oh, my poor eyes. Anyways, so today we are... St I Also, I really hope that this helps you guys with the lighting because I know it's usually too warm because of the warmth coming from my lamp and the lampshade on it. I tried taking the lampshade off. It's still a yellow light, so hopefully this helps more. So today, we are starting a series that I'm very excited about. It is called the Book Look Series, and our first book for this look is a dog called Kitty by Bill Wallace. Now, the Book Look Series that I am starting is where I am going to take one book from my little personal library, and I am going to make an eye look based off of the colors on the cover. And while I do so, I'll talk about the book and other things and stuff like that. I am an avid reader. I have been my whole life. And I love books. I have so many in there. So I thought that this would be a perfect series to start with you guys. And I haven't really seen anyone else do it. So, yeah. You guys actually tell that my eyes are green now. <laughs> oh, my poor eyes hurt. Okay. So, like I said, today we are starting with the book A Dog Called Kitty by Bill Wallace. The colors on, the, on this cover are primarily light brown and dark brown, greens, reds, and white. Also a light green. Yeah. Anyways, we'll see how to do a look like this. <laughs> starting, as always recently, with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in the shade original. I also have a MAC Painterly paint pot that I like using and I used that way more than this and I neglected this for a long time. And then I recently realized how much I actually like this and I am very much a lady who uses one thing at a time. I will not use two eye primers at the same time. Most of the time I will not use two face time face primers at the same time. I will not use two mascaras at the same time. Blushes and bronzers and everything else is different, but yeah. So let's see what to start off with with this look today. I think we should lay down a nice little brown, light brown base with the e.l.f bite size eyeshadow truffles bite sized eyeshadow palette I'm going to go into that light brown shade which will match the light brown on kitty here use that as a nice little transition shade for everything else i'm going to lay down on my eyes please again i apologize for the voices in the background that is my family the living room is right outside of my room and everyone is watching shows. Now, a dog called Kitty is about a little boy who was attacked by dogs. I believe they had rabies. No, I don't know. He was attacked by dogs and, you know, he had to get stitches. It was bad. So he has this fear of dogs. And there comes this stray puppy along who's really cute and really sweet, but this little boy named Ricky wants nothing to do with him because he's very afraid of dogs. And eventually, he sees him starving. And every time that his mom is feeding their cats, the little dog comes over and tries to eat their food too. And the cats, sh they're not sharing their food with the dog and Ricky takes pity on the dog and gets over his fear, names the dog Kitty, and they become best friends. Now I don't want to spoil the book too much for you guys out there who are interested in reading it, but it's a great little short little chapter book for kids. Um, yeah, it was written in 1980 and this was actually originally my mom's book. I'm going into my e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. I'm going to use that red shade Spiced for the red lettering. I can't get a... I don't have a red eyeshadow that matches the color, this color of red 
perfectly, but this color right here, spiced, is as close as I can get. Now, this book, like I said, was my mom's originally, and she wrote her home phone number at the time, and her address at the time, and all of her friends' names in there. Very cute. And then it got passed on to me. And you know what? I'm going to let you guys know. I know what this is about, but I don't ever remember reading it. At all. I'm not sure if the plot points just popped into my memory somehow or just implanted there, but I don't remember reading this book. Which is strange, because I usually, I remember reading almost all of the books in my library. I have a very good memory when it comes to stuff like that, so I don't know why I don't remember reading this book. Maybe I didn't read it. Maybe my mom read it to me. She didn't really read many books to me, so I'm not sure. I'm trying to not block the light so you guys can see. I'm doing, just building up that red some more. My poor eyes. After this, you guys, I swear, I'm going to have white spots dancing across my eyes every time I close them for at least 10 minutes. <sighs> I'm not sure if this is better for you guys lighting wise. Please let me know. I'm very curious about that. I want to make sure that that I'm giving you the best quality that I can give while staying on my budget. And a little bit Christmassy here because now I have to go into the darker green for this look and I'm going into my Afrique palette at Juvia's Place. I have yet to use the green shades in this palette so I'm going into this dark green shimmer here, taking it on my finger, just gently patting it right there. I feel so Christmassy right now. I'm gonna move into doing my face before doing the inner corners and, sorry, and under my eyes. Today I'm going to use a different primer than you guys are used to seeing on my channel. You're used to seeing either the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer, which I do not like, or the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which I love. But instead, we are going into the Joa Glow Activator Radiance Primer. And this I use on days where my skin feels drier, because it is way more hydrating than any of my primers that I've ever used before. It is very, 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 very almost slippery feeling. And then I'm just going to rub that into the skin. I'm going to go into my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I haven't used this. Well, it feels like I haven't used this in a while. This hasn't been getting as much attention. And I feel bad, so we're going to give her some attention today. When I was younger, I used to have a lying problem, and my parents would punish me by taking my Barbies or my Polly Pockets or whatever, or my Brad stalls away from me. I was very much a doll girl, and <laughs> I just watched Toy Story the day before I was going to get grounded, and I had lied to my mom. And I had already been grounded from my Barbies because of it. And I usually lied about very small, insignificant, stupid things. Like, I once lied about dropping my lollipop on the ground, even though it was right there in front of me. So you could obviously see that I did. Anyway, so I had lied, and my mom said, Daniela, you're grounded. And I was like, alright, fine, but can you please ground me 
from my Polly Pockets instead of my Barbies because I had been grounded from my Barbies for a while. And she said, why? And I said, because my Barbies have been away from me for a long time and I'm worried they're going to miss me. Because at that point in time, I thought that toys were alive because of Toy Story. It's a little fun factoid for you. I don't know how we got onto that conversation. But there that is. Oh yeah, because we were talking about my... <laughs> We were talking about my tinted moisturizer missing me. Right, of course. Duh. Okay, going into the only concealer. Of the two concealers I own, the only one that I like. I'm going to throw the other one out at some point. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I've been meaning to try the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer because I have the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, which is so I should not have gotten that. It's intense and insane. But I want to try the e.l.f. hydrating one because I've heard that it's very, fairly similar to this one. And this of the three concealers I've tried in my life is my favorite. So let me know if you guys have tried that and what you think. I am now going to just tap, 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 tap. Now taking my e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. Set my face. I am now going to show you guys what I've been using as my mirror, which is this MAC face palette. I got this from my grandparents for my birthday. So I'm going to use this MAC bronzer. And it's so hard to read what it is because the little thing saying what it is is on this shiny, stripey thing. It is the Extra Dimension Bronzer in the shade 5 Alarm Kiss. Not sure if that means anything to you guys. I'm going to take this Essence Bronzing Brush, which I really need to get rid of because it is not good. It just gets bristles all over my face and it's very old. I'm going to begin to bronze my face. I can't tell if it's just the flashlights or if it's me, but I really feel like right now that it's not there. Hello? Maybe it's the brush. Okay. Switching brushes, because you know what? I'm kind of done with that brush. Okay, going into this one now. I don't know where it's from. My mom gave it to me. I'm sorry. Okay, maybe it's just the bronzer, maybe it's just the lighting, maybe it's Maybelline. Okay, <laughs> now going into the MAC blush right there. Maybe this is just all too light for me, maybe that's the problem. Even though I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost with this lighting right now. I'm taking my IT Cosmetics fan brush and going into that highlighter. I really like this highlighter, it's gorgeous. It is the... Extra Dimension Skin Finish in String Lights. By the way, this is also the MAC Shiny Pretty Things Face Compact in Fair. Maybe there's a shade between Fair and Medium that will work better with me. Because I don't think Fair is working well with my... Well, everything except for this highlighter. I feel like the highlighter is working and everything else is not. Now I'm going to go back into the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. I'm going into that ugh, white shade right there, which is Sea Salt. It is a white shimmer. I'm going to take it on my brush and put that right there. I am now going into the Bahama Mar for that lighter green shade that was on the cover on the edges of the grass right there you know what maybe I'll actually do the darker green and the lighter green because I, I feel like that's not showing up too well so I'll start with the lighter green which is almost a mint shade
Oh, very powdery. And then I'm going to take the other side of that brush and go back into my Afrik palette. I forgot to say, I used the green shade Togo on my eyes, the shimmer, and now I'm going to use the green shade Niger right here that's matte under my eyes. Okay, <laughs> that was more than I was expecting. It's way more pigmented than the other mattes in that palette. Okay, just blend it out. Hopefully that doesn't become muddy. I, it already is, that's wonderful. All right, taking whatever's left on that brush because that was intense. And finally, to get that dark brown shade in there, I'm going back into the e.l.f. bite-sized truffles palette, going into that dark brown shade right there. I know there's a spoolie on this end. I know this is technically made for eyebrows, but I'm using it for my eyes instead. I'm going to take that underneath as well. I'm going to take this brush between my fingers to make it more precise of a line and just going to blend that out as well I added a red look uh, <laughs> a red lip to the look hopefully this matches the lettering the title way better than the eyeshadow I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. I could have just done a green and brown eye look with white and then just done the red lip. <sighs> Hindsight's 2020. Anyways, this was an interesting look to complete with you guys. I hope you had fun. Um, give this book a read if you want. <laughs> if you don't, more power to you. Um, yeah, and I hope you all have a great day. And before I forget, please don't forget to like, comment, share, Subscribe and click that little now. Uh, why can't I speak today? And click that little bell to get notifications on and get a reminder for when I post new videos. All right, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.